So today we're talking about the difference between low and high frequency inverters. There's so many products on the market and consumers are often confused. How can one inverter cost 5,000 Rand and one cost 20,000 Rand? So I want to talk about the differences between the kinds of inverters that are on the market. Now MicroKey manufactures low frequency inverters. These are inverters that have large transformers in them. And so they operate a little bit different perhaps to what you see very common is your imported high frequency inverters, typically with a solar charger built in, typically very small transformers and they operate in different ways. So I want to talk about the differences between these two. Obviously price becomes the number one talking point but it's much more than that. We often see that clients buy microcare inverters because they've already had a high frequency inverter and they realize that it's not really performing as they were hoped. There's no service, there's no backup for them. In fact the products that we've got here We've had companies from China ask us, can't we try and repair some of these products? And, and we can't. They're simply not designed in such a way that you're able to simply replace a component. So MicroKey manufactures a product that can be repaired, can be restored to current standards, any one of our products. That's why you'll come along to MicroKey and see an inverter that's 20 years old having a service and being able to then be upgraded to the current lithium ion standards. So that's where the strength of local manufacturing really comes in. So what are the differences between a low frequency, as you can see, much bigger unit versus a high frequency, typically imported unit, besides the price, of course. Okay, well, let's start, of course, with why this unit is so big and heavy. And it's because of this large transformer. It is robust. It is tough. It is built for African conditions. Why? Because our voltage is all over the place. Uh, we've seen voltage reports and, and measurements between 180 and 310 volts, and you probably had even worse than that. And then we simply can't handle that. These products that we have, these appliances, simply don't do well with this kind of voltage change. Where with the microcare inverter, this robust transforming yeah, really cushions you against those massive changes. And that's where insurance companies are really starting to pick up as well. They're saying, listen, we're not necessarily going to insure your TV anymore unless you've got some kind of protection in place. And of course, that's the beauty of having a transformer-based microcare inverter as a UPS or an inverter in line. So it's got a transformer, it's robust, it's tough, it's able to handle some really difficult conditions where typically you find your non-transformer or your very small transformers that are in these imported inverters, these high frequency inverters, they can't really handle these uh, surges of the, of the grid. And that's why you would have seen in one of our videos, we put a lawnmower on a three kilowatt inverter. The lawnmower was over three kilowatts and the microcare inverter was able to handle it. And it's because of the transformer that it can able to be absorbing that surge, where your imported product, which was more than the lawnmower's rating, simply switched off. It simply couldn't handle that surge of power. So that's one of the major differences between these two products. And that's why often these products are rated in kilowatts. It's true power. With the transformer, this five kilowatt inverter is true five kilowatts of power and 5,000 uh, VA or 5 kVA, where your imported products, unfortunately the rules have changed a little bit. This five kilowatt inverter that I have with me here, as you can see the two, are supposedly the same things, but this doesn't give true power of five kilowatts. It's rated rather at around 3.2 kilowatts. So unfortunately those ratings are not common, they're not standard anymore. So please be aware of the fact that your kVA rating inverter might not be true power. So be aware of those changes. That means that this guy can handle that large rushing of power and he's typically quite sensitive to the rushing of power. And, I, and I've seen that. I've been at a guest house recently where I saw the lights kept flickering and I said to the lady who was, I said, what's going on? She said, no, the, the electricity is very unstable. I said, what about getting an inverter? And she said, I've got an inverter. And she had one of these inverters, but it simply couldn't handle the rushing of power, the drops in the voltage, and it kept flickering and changing all the time. The microcare inverter with its low frequency, large transformer, typically they won't put the MPPT inside. So the solar charge that's coming in here, we would treat it separately. And you would recall in some of our videos, we've discussed that. It's so important that in this incredible product, there's heat that's been dissipated, there's efficiencies going on here that are focused on making this the best possible product. By sticking in an MPPT in here, we're gonna lose some of that efficiency. And we know that from the MPPT with its large heat sink and making it operate at its best efficiency, it's best to keep it separate. And that's why often you'll see a microcare MPPT with an imported high frequency inverter because the MPPT that's built in this one is much smaller. It's far less uh, versatile. It's often 
limiting in terms of how much power one can make. Where when we separate it, we can see there's a lot more power available. So that's why we would never put an MPPT inside this inverter. It just doesn't make sense. But from a business case, the imported products will have it all built into one, and that would be um, a, a cheaper and easier way of doing things. But when it comes to efficiency, people are starting to realize, hang on, my product is not actually making the power that it was rated for. And that's why we've got this. This has got more versatility, it's got a bit more efficiency, it's designed for purpose. Some of the other differences between a low frequency and a high frequency inverter is that this one has a very fast changeover. That means that as the grid collapses or it fails or it changes over from batteries that the inverter takes over within three, five or eight milliseconds. So it's very fast in its changeover. And that's why this product is ideal for things like traffic light systems and ATM machines and, and server rooms. When the power goes out unexpectedly, then this unit will be able to take over seamlessly and you won't have any problems. Where typically you'll find that these units need a bit more time to change over. And so that's why they often drop and they're not ideal for those kind of applications. One of the other things that happens is that this one has got a generator ability rather. So you could plug a generator straight into this inverter and it's because of this large transformer that acts as like a cushion. You can take any of that abnormal frequency, that abnormal voltage that's coming through as the generator throttles up and down, where it's not recommended to put a generator into a, a high frequency inverter. And also this inverter, as you can see looking inside of it, it's got a small charger inside it. It's very limiting. People often complain during these big load shedding times that we have is that their imported high frequency inverter doesn't often charge the batteries quick enough for the next load shedding window. And that's a very common problem where you'll see the micro key inverter has got a large battery charge in here. In fact, it's sometimes too big and we actually have to derate it sometimes. And it all depends on what kind of batteries you've got, but you've got that versatility, adjustable charge rates. And that, that's what makes it so versatile and so tough. And that's why it goes for so much longer. It's repairable. It's able to adapt to robust conditions of the South African grid. And who knows where it's going and what's changing. But those are the main differences. That's why one product costs 5,000 Rand and one costs four times more. But there's a reason for it. And that's why it is so tough. That's why it keeps going. So get in touch with us. If you have any questions about a high and low frequency inverters and how we can help you understand the differences, please contact our sales team, sales at microcare.co.za. You can find out all this information, of course, on our website as well. And get in touch with our team. You can find the website at microcare.co.za.